Attending Howard University, one of the nation's most prestigious schools in America, has been anything but illustrious for its students. Between the Blackburn takeover and dorm issues in places like East and West Towers, it's been very hard for students to try to find happiness and peace during these tragic times. There's a certain laughter that fills the air whenever students congregate at places like Banneker, the Yard, or the Valley. It's a laughter that can't be found at any other HBCU but Howard. These places where the students congregate, places like the Yard and the community rooms, are safe havens for creatives to express their talent, while listeners can escape from the stress of the bomb threats and fear of lockdown orders. Music, art, and laughter fill these spaces at Howard, no matter the size or how many students congregate in these areas. But you can take a space as small and intimate as a dorm, and Howard students will still find a way to make it welcoming. For some, it may be isolating, but for sophomores Trinity Holt and Zoe McKee, it's their sanctuary away from stress. Food, gossip, and laughter fill this tiny space. And here, the outside world that's filled with famine, poverty, and danger is no more. It's a place for teenage freedom, a place for joy, and a place to enjoy their youth. Cat University is full of despites. Despite bomb threats, despite uncertainty, and despite the fear of danger, students at Howard University find a way to bring joy, light, and laughter to situations that should cause worry. Despite isolation, despite loneliness, and despite despair, the students here create something out of their own feelings. They make their own light in the midst of these storms. And during these storms, their own act of resistance is being held.